Hello, everybody. Welcome to TCI's podcast, the Expat Life Series, Where Do You Start? My name is Daryl Fort, founder of TCI, and as usual, we're going to be interviewing a member of our alliance, content providers, write blogs and different things for us, and we want to get to know them a little bit better. What has been their expat journey for the concept of traveling to another country and living in another country to the time they actually did it and what their experience has been like? Today, we have a treat. We have Roman Vergara, who is Argentinian, living in Costa Rica and a few places in between. So um, without any further ado, let's begin our conversation with Roman. Roman, how are you? Fine, thanks, Eric. How are you? I am doing very well. Thank you so very much for being our guest today. Looking forward to our conversation. My pleasure. So tell us a little bit about you, Roman. Well, I was born in the city of Rosario in Argentina. When I was eight years old, I moved with my family to Uruguay. We were living for 10 years. Then we went to Venezuela with my family too. And I was living there for 35 years. When the things were a little difficult in Venezuela, uh, we decided to move to, to Argentina. We were in Argentina about two years, more or less, and then we moved again, but this time to Costa Rica. We are in Costa Rica since November of last year. Very nice, very nice. So quite, uh, quite some different moves for you. So, so you moved to, from Argentina as a child to Venezuela. So I mean, that's an expat move as a child. How do yes. you have any recollection of how that affected you, how that was? Well, when I was living in Uruguay and then moved to Venezuela, I had 18 years old and I have a lot of friends, my school friends, and I have a, a girlfriend. So left Uruguay to go to Venezuela was a big impact for me. Uh, I, was, okay, I was living, I was living all my, my life there. So it was a very big impact in my life. Sure. So you're moving with your family, right? So this is kind of not your choice. Yes. Did you find yourself pushing back, re kind of rejecting it, or do you kind of accept it and embrace it Venezuela as your new home? Uh, Venezuela is a very beautiful country. People there is very kind. I was always feeling like I was at home. Really, you have no difference. Some things uh, are different, of course, for the culture, for the music, the food, the weather, but the people was very kind for me. Very nice. So you spend 35 years there, so you grow up, right? You build an entire career, but then you know, things change in Venezuela, right? We all know what those things are. So you move back to Argentina, going back home, but really it was kind of like being an expat because you left Argentina very, very young. It's not like you had all these memories and you're like an adult going back to where you came from. So tell us a little bit about two things. Probably not a lot of the expats that we encountered and work with, you know, move for political reasons, right? I mean, the country where I am is falling apart. I've got to go, yes. right? So that's, that's a, a different mentality and motivation. Yes. And then tell us a little bit about moving to Argentina. I mean, it's your home, you're by blood Argentinian, but you yes. never really ever lived as an Argentinian in, in your life because you left so young. Tell us about those two things. In Argentina, I have a very little family, but when I went there, I feel like I was not in home because the culture was very different. I was 35 years growing in a different place with different everything. When I went to Argentina, it was easy in some aspects, but it was very difficult because nobody knows me there. I want to work to get a job, but it was very difficult, first of all, for my age, and second, because nobody knows about, about me. So it was hard to start again in that place. How did it feel having to leave Venezuela? I mean, this was your home. 
for 35 years, I mean, r reality is, is it was your home. And, yes. you, and you have to leave it for all the wrong reasons. It's not your choice and it's time to go and all of that. I mean, if Venezuela hadn't started to fall apart, you probably would have never left. Yes. So give us a vision in the community here of what it feels like to have to leave your home because you have to. First of all, it was for my daughter's future. I think that today in Venezuela, there's no future for young people. So I think that the better option was move out and try to, to start again in other place. Our first choice was Argentina, but in the first moment, uh, I, we thought that uh, it was a, a good choice, but later the economy falls down in a very big, very important form. So we start to think that we need to move out again because the things were getting wrong again. So I have a sister in Costa Rica, talked with her, and she offered me to move to her house. So we take the risk and here we are. Very good. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's, it's really interesting. I appreciate you sharing this with us, just the different motivations. And clearly with your daughter, her future yeah. being the most important thing, right? Being, I, mean, I have two kids and we're in the middle of figuring that out for them too. We're, we're best to be for them next, yes. the next step in life, right? So I, I appreciate that, I respect that very much. So you're in Argentina, things aren't going the way, I mean, you're, you're almost a foreigner in your own land. <laughs> in yes. a lot of ways. Yes, that's the word. And so you're looking to places to go. So clearly Costa Rica was a big choice because your sister there, you know, they helped you to establish yourself and everything else. Were you yes. looking at any other places or was your sister being in Costa Rica uh, really the driving force of going to Costa Rica? Well, my mother is living in the United States. I have there a brother and a sister too. And my favorite place to move always was the United States. But the problem is the documentation, the legal state for work, for have a, a normal life there. So I think I was expecting that Costa Rica be the first point before I go to the States. I'm trying to do some things to get the legal documentation to be there. So for now, we're trying to make the things good here in Costa Rica. Very good, very good. When you look at this move you've made, and well, so you've moved as an expat truly on your own volition twice. Venezuela yes. to Argentina, Argentina to Costa Rica. And I'm sure you did your research and all these other things you're supposed to do before you leave, but you're always still kind of surprised about things when you get there. So what do you wish you knew but didn't when you made the move, especially to Costa Rica? Okay. The first point is to know more people who can guide me about the things in Costa Rica. Most of all, in the job matter. The other things are very easy because it's the same language, is more or less the same way to think. I have my family here. So it was easier because all of this. The very hard part of this is the job. Right. Because it's a contraction right now, the right. opportunity here in Costa Rica. Unemployment is about 20% in these days because all of the happened with the coronavirus. So it's very hard in this moment to find a job, to settle down as I want. So I have to close my eyes and going ahead. Yeah, I can appreciate that. I was able to do before what some were not able to do, which is, you know, before I came to Cuenca, Ecuador, to make a exploratory trip. Right? Come, stay for a month, get to know people and places and things, uh, make some contacts. I mean, I, I don't have to work here per se, but uh, in your case, if you had an opportunity to go to Costa Rica before you moved there, right? 
and meet people and perhaps line up a job and everything else would make things smoothly. Uh, but for those who are listening, uh, just a quick heads up, this interview is happening in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. And so that obviously is affecting uh, the lives of expats and uh, most particularly Roman, who is a new expat to the country. And this kind of caught him in his process of, of establishing himself in Costa Rica. One other question along this line. You're in Costa Rica, you're there with your daughter, and you're working to make a go of it. When you look at these decisions you've made to make these moves, your prime motivation has been your daughter. So how has that motivation enabled you to make these decisions, you know, make the moves, and then, as they say, fight the fight to be successful? Okay. First of all, before uh, left Venezuela, we sold everything that we had. So we left the country with 10 baggages. Today, move for me is very easy because I have no material things that worry me. So I have the money that I've made for the sale of my stuff. So I need to manage it very well to ensure my day by day. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to. Oh yeah, I understand perfectly. You. Yes. Okay. So. okay. so the second time when we decided to leave Argentina to move to Costa Rica, it was very easy. It was not so, so shocking the, as the first time. Hmm. We decided to move here in three months, four months. So we can make it uh, very quickly. At this moment, I have no route in any place of the world. So I think that when I see the best opportunity for me and for my daughter, I will try to take it. Very good. Well, Roman, thank you so very much for sharing your life with us. It's been very interesting. This has helped us to appreciate that and everybody's expat story is different. It takes different paths and for different motivations and reasons. Uh, but whatever that path and those reasons are, it is your story. And a story that many perhaps will be able to listen to and relate to. So we thank you for that, for your comments. Before we go though, I want to ask you one last question. You're part of the TCI Expat Alliance, you're one of our writers, content providers. While you're here, what do you want to share with the TCI expat community through your writing and through the different ways that you will communicate with them? I want to get the people the opportunity to learn something about my own experience. There's a lot of jobs that we can make as facts to help others to try to make the thing better, better than I do, that I did. So, this is an opportunity to, for me, that the people knows me and can make some contacts in any place of the world and be a guide for any one of them. Well, that is a noble goal and we're very happy that you're with us. And we thank, thank you, you for your time that you, you share with us today. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Everyone, thank you. We just interviewed Roman Vergara in Costa Rica, one of the TCI Alliance members. Uh, be sure on the platform to follow him on his profile and also his, his blogs and, and the different content he will be providing to do what he said, to help others do it better so that their expat experience can be successful also. We want to thank all of you for tuning in and we look forward to uh, communicating with you on our next uh, interview, our next, next podcast. Till then, as we like to say at the end of all our TCI communications, so where will you land? Talk to you soon.